leaders who have a deep store of knowledge. But also we've brought in six of the best research dermatologists across the country to look at products with us. Based on ingredients, really, and combinations of ingredients, we narrowed that 400 whatever down to about 90 products that we tested on more than 872 women, 872 over the course of the next year, more than a year, we tested these products not only in our labs, in the beauty lab, which is right behind you, with all sorts of very precise scientific measurement uh, machines that we have. We also sent products home with women and had them test them and fill out long surveys. And at the end of the day, what we had was something that no other magazine or website or television show or, or anything has, which is scientifically proven products that worked and all the ones that didn't. And what we were, you know, honestly, we came to this with a lot of skepticism. Um, we thought, yeah, 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 some of these things actually do work. Is it like plastic surgery? No, thankfully it's not. Um, they're subtle, but they're real. And then, uh, then again, some things that cost a lot of money and have beautiful packaging um, smell great, feel good, don't do a thing. So in the magazine, it's in the September issue, for the first time ever, we published the list in 12 categories of the winners in each of these 12 categories, from sunscreen to the best daytime moisturizer, nighttime moisturizer. And we also named the product that came in second, because in a lot of cases, more than one product performed really well. And depending on what your issue was, you might want to use one or the other. Well, it was an explosion. We got tons of email. We got we even got a lot of snail mail. Whenever I went out and any of anybody I knew, any of my friends had seen the issue, they loved the information that we put in the magazine, but they had ten other questions that weren't necessarily product related. You know, they loved knowing which products worked and which didn't. But they they wanted to know other things. So very quickly we got together and we started brainstorming about we started sort of collecting all the questions that people were asking. We realized we had a huge hit of a program on our hands, even though I've got to tell you, it practically kills us to do this every year. Um, so we did skincare the first year. The second year we did hair care, from hair color to conditioners and everything like that. This year we did makeup. Next year we'll start skincare again because enough products have turned over so that it's time to measure that again. I cannot tell you what a huge undertaking it is. It, 